and welcome to webdesigner-resource.com web video series that's webdesigner-resource.com today's video is actually a request from one of our clients and that we're going to cover how to add a form or extra fields to a WooCommerce product now this requires that you have number one WooCommerce installed number two the Gravity Forms plugin for WordPress and number three the WooCommerce Gravity Forms plugin and that's a separate plugin that allows Gravity Forms to work with WooCommerce so you have to have all three for this to work to start off we're going to go to forms and we're going to create a new form and as you can see it comes up with an untitled form I'm just going to go here to edit and we're just going to change this to additional fields and we're going to get rid of the description now we close that down now the client has actually a list of fields that we're going to use the first one is size so I'm going to create a drop down by clicking on drop down over at standard fields I'm going to come here to edit I'm going to change the label to size and now we have a couple choices over here but I'm going to go to bulk add predefined choices as you can see the first three choices are already added but what I'm going to do is I have a list of here of what the client wants so we're going to paste that in hit insert choices and as you can see it's added all of the fields there and there are some advanced options that you can use if you'd like but for now that's we're going to leave that the way it is I'm going to close this down and as you can see there's how it's going to appear now I'm going to add another drop down box I'm going to come here and edit again this one is going to be orientation so I'm going to come in here, change the label to orientation, go to bulk load. Once again, we already have the choices. And we are done with this one. I'm going to close it down. You can begin to see what it looks like there. Create another drop down. And this one's going to be the color process come here and edit come down to label insert color process we're going to scroll down and load in there we go load in those choices we're done with that one now the next one is options Going to create another drop down. Go to edit. Again, change the label. Bulk add. Put those in there. As you can see, there they are. Close that down again. Now, the next field that he wanted was actually an upload field. Now, that's pretty easy to add but you're going to have to come down here to advanced fields click on the file upload and there we go I'm going to come here to edit do upload image close that down now just so you know I'm going to go back here real quick uh, you can uh, put a comma separated list of uh, allowed extensions, uh, PNG, JPEG, PDF, and whatever you want, as well as description. Uh, description, you know, possibly describing that they are only allowed to enter all of the the allowed extensions. So we're going to close this down. And the last thing he wanted was a comments field. So we're going to come over here and we're going to choose the 
paragraph text. And as you can see, down and there's the field so I'm going to save this form and we're just going to go ahead and preview it see what it looks like and it's looking pretty good we can select our print size and select our orientation color process and edges upload a file or type in our comments so I'm going to close this down return to form list and there's our form additional fields so now how do we add that to a product well first of all we're going to come down here to products and uh, just for the sake of this I'm going to create a new product I'm going to call this one test product I know very original and here we're going to type down a little description in there we could choose a product category but I'm not I'm going to come down we're going to leave it a simple product you could create a variable product or any other number of other products and you need to give it a price and we're just going to make this five dollars and we're going to scroll further down and now you're going to see gravity forms product add-ons so I'm going to just click here and choose additional fields because that's one we just created now I'd like to actually display that title which is additional field so I'm going to click check now you can change the price labels and the total calculations you could actually have a different price based on what options they chose but we're not going to go that we're going to do the simple route I'm now going to publish this and I'm going to click on view product and as you can see this is where the product picture would be and as you notice not only do you have the price, but you can add to cart. You can also add all of these features. Now, I did not really make any of these required, but obviously you can do that. Um, there we go. So just add that to cart. Now let's go to our cart. And as you can see, the product has all of our little fields, additional fields, I should say, added to the product description. And that will come across in your product uh, invoice so that you can see what options they ordered. And that wraps it up for our Gravity Forms WooCommerce uh, instructional video. If you have any questions, of course, feel free to drop by webdesigner-resource.com. That's webdesigner-resource.com. Thanks. Have a great day.